Making the perfect paint seems impossible, but that never stopped us from trying. And based on all the feedback we got and all the blind tests we did, we think we're pretty close. Warpaints Paints Fanatic is the exciting new high-performance acrylic paint range from the Army Painter. Featuring 216 colors in total, including 18 diverse skin tones, 18 reformulated metallics, 18 effects paints, and an expanded wash range that also features 18 tones. When we started the project about four years ago, I, uh, I sat down with the product development team and I said, well, I want the best paint in the world. I want a paint that covers everything that the pro painter could ever want, anything the competitive gamer would need, and anything the hobbyist would crave. Because what I wanted was a really covering paint that was easy to use. The concept of the paint development team uh, was new when we redesigned and redeveloped the speed paint range. And it, we, we knew that that is something that would always be a part of the way we do business moving forward, the way we develop products. So we brought in some of the, the most world-class painters, uh, you know, people that paint amazing showcase masterclass pieces. And we wanted to bring in the gamers, and that's why we reached out to people like Phil the Glacial Geek and the Art of War team. And, and, you know, we did some testing at WTC and other events. And obviously, it had to work for the everyday hobbyists, the people that do a little bit of everything. So we brought in a wide range of people early on to verify and validate that what we were seeing and what we were believing in this paint was actually real. I'm very happy to say that the responses that they had very much aligned with what we felt about this exciting new range. Everybody that we talked to mentioned covering and coverage as one of the main things that paint should do. So obviously that was the first part of call. And uh, we worked a lot on the coverage, so very different uh, bases and pigments. And at one time we were told, what you want can't be done. When you make acrylic paints, traditionally every type of paint is made uh, differently. Like you have your vibrant colors are built in a base that, that can hold a lot of pigments so it's more translucent. You have the good covering ones that carries not so much uh, pigment. We used between 300 to 700 percent more pigment in the Fanatic range than we did in the other one. The problem is when you put too much pigment in that it separates to a certain extent and it makes it difficult to cover. So when you take the extreme amount of pigment and the uh, very high covering base and put them together, then we found out that we had something that could really cover well uh, and that was extremely vibrant but didn't, didn't flow at all, which was the third one we need to work on. In order to get around that, we spent a couple of years working on something we internally called a stabilizer. So when we had these two extremes and we added the stabilizer, they actually met in the middle. We managed with the stabilizer to be able to get the amount of pigment into the right basis, to be able to get a consistent coverage throughout the entire range, which means you'll get a yellow that behaves the same as a brown, as a gray, as a green. They all behave the same way, and that makes it very easy to use. The stabilizer had done what we were told could not be done. That's the secret source of making a paint this good that covers everything. One of the things that we found out in the product development team quite early is that we wanted to do a triad system, which is really popular. But very soon we realized that three colors per color category wasn't going to be enough. And that's where the idea of these six color flexible triads comes in. So you can actually use these six colors in a total of four different triads when you actually paint them. Normally when you make a, a triad, you would make this one a triad and then you would make this one a triad. This one is actually one 
two, three, four triads. And that's how we want to design the, the series. We have magentas, we have vibrant blues, turquoise, deep greens, basically every color that you would want. Really what starts with, it starts with a mother color. It starts with uh, one of those key colors that we talk about. And then we extrapolate from it. We go brighter and lighter on one end of the spectrum, and then we go darker, deeper, and richer on the other end of the spectrum. So they all perfectly align to each other, even though one of them looks really dark and the far extreme looks really bright. They are the exact same color that we've toned out. And that's something that is highly flexible, pun intended, uh, but it's also very easy to use. You will see on each, on each uh, label exactly where this color fits in. So if you have this one, you know where you need to buy the other five. Yeah, it even states what triad you're actually Yeah, the triad's name. Yeah, yeah. So yeah whatever, 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 whatever tones, tones yeah. for this one. And that's what I love about the flexible triad system, is that it's flexible and versatile enough for painters of all types to use. Every bottle of War Paints Fanatic comes with two high-grade, rust-proof stainless steel mixing balls preloaded. War Paints Fanatic are also designed to fit within our color match system, meaning any paint from the Fanatic range is a match to the War Paint Air and color primer of the same name. And the popular practical naming convention that first made its appearance in the Speed Paint 2.0 range continues with War Paints Fanatic, making paint identification and selection easier and more approachable. The new Fanatic range will be made available for individual purchase, and you can also purchase them with our Insane Value box sets. These box sets are designed to meet every budget and offer unbeatable savings. Preview our pre-order schedule so you know when to buy the right set for you. Okay, cool. Is there anything else that you want to contribute on your own? I'm sure there is, but um... My brain is 41 degrees Celsius and my body is only up to 39 now, so eat, the fact that I'm proud, maybe, yeah. of this achievement. Are you proud? Yeah, I'm f***ing proud. The army painter have done something that I am really, really genuinely proud of, that it's us who have done it, because people didn't expect that. Now we come out with this paint, and I just think that the effort put in from everyone is just something that was mind-numbing for me. Mostly, I'm just really, really proud about the result and the people on this project, because without them, we wouldn't be here today. So that's a general thank you from me.